right here. Don't worry, Senator. It's uh, font size 20 and it's double spaced. <laughs> Good afternoon, uh, friends. And it really is a great afternoon to be here with all of you to support our friend and Senator Susan Collins. My name is Craig Poole, and I'm the co chair of the Law Enforcement Collins Committee and the executive director of the Maine Troopers Association. Uh, Maine State Troopers Association. Uh, my good friend Paulie Gaspar is here. He's the executive director of the Maine Association of Police and co chairs uh, the committee with me. And I'd also like to point out President Mike Eads, who is the president of the Maine State Troopers Association. It's with a great deal of pleasure that the Maine State Troopers Association and the Maine Association of Police announced their support for and endorsement of Senator Susan Collins for her third term in the United States Senate. Senator Collins has proven herself a hard-working and tireless advocate for law enforcement in both Maine and across the country. She co-authored the implementing recommendations of the 9-11 Commission Act, as well as the Intent Intelligence Reform and Terrorist Prevention Act, which has greatly enhanced intelligence processing at the state and local level through the creation of intelligent fusion centers. Uh, we have one here in Maine. In addition to her outstanding work on the Homeland Security Committee, first as chairperson and now as the ranking Republican, Senator Collins facilitated the creation of a joint terrorism task force in Maine. And I think what's significant about that is it's indicative of her philosophy of breaking down barriers and fostering teamwork amongst law enforcement professionals at every level of government to address the post 9-11 challenges. Senator Collins also supported H.R. 218, which in the uh, profession is known as the National uh, Law Enforcement Officers Right to Carry Bill, which allows qualified active and retired police officers to carry firearms across state lines, uh, thus enhancing public safety. Senator Collins continues to support the full restoration of funding to the Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Law Enforcement Grant Programs uh, after it was slashed from a Senate-approved $660 million down to $170 million. These grants are the grants that support programs at the state and local levels that are designed to reduce domestic violence and drug trafficking. She's consistently supported legislation that has placed advanced equipment in the hands of law enforcement. Since 2001, due in large part to her hard work, Maine has received more than $165 million to enhance our ability to prevent terrorism and respond to any major disaster. Her efforts have led to the deployment of sophisticated mobile command posts strategically located around Maine, designed to give law enforcement and first responders advanced communications and response capabilities previously unavailable. The list of Senator Collins' accomplishments and examples of support can certainly go on. But in short, we, they like it too. <laughs> <laughs> in short, we can state without any hesitation and with sincere gratitude that Senator Collins is a champion and friend of Maine's law enforcement and first responder community. She's heard our concerns, and no, that's not another full page, Senator. <laughs> and she continues to go above and beyond paying male lip service. She has delivered on her commitments and remains available and genuinely interested in matters that affect Maine and America's law enforcement community that ultimately affect the quality of life in Maine and America. To quote Dennis Hallian, who is the chairman for the National Troopers Coalition, who also lend their support, I quote, it is rare to find one in Washington who works harder on issues that aff affect police work and domestic security. She's a true public servant in the best sense of the term, and we are proud to give her our endorsement. Thank you, Senator Collins. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That was so nice. Thank you.